Hey, what's going on guys? Today on the channel, we got this thing right here. So this is the new iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is gonna be my new phone. I originally was not going to get this phone this year because I do have a 13 Pro. And the 13 Pro is still serving me very well, but it has been two years and there are some substantial upgrades in this new phone for me. And because I'm doing this whole YouTube thing now, I feel like maybe I should, uh upgrade my phone a little bit more often than I normally would. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We got the 15 Pro Max. This is the natural titanium color. Seems like a very sought after color. And this is a 256 gigabyte model. A lot more storage than what I need, but that's okay. Maybe this will future proof me for a little longer. This is gonna take me some getting used to because I told myself I would never buy a maxed size iPhone or an iPhone Plus, and here we are. So I don't know what's going on. Anyways, we're going to unbox this thing, we're going to set it up, give you guys some of my first impressions today. also picked up the Apple Clear case. I was going to pick up a different brand case this time, but they're not shipping for a really long time and I need this phone to be protected. So. Apple's clear case. I've never used one of those before. I was not a fan of some of the first impression videos. I saw the new fine woven uh, material. You guys know I'm a leather case kind of guy. This is my Sequoia green leather case on my 13 Pro. And uh, yeah, it develops a natural patina look over time and it looks pretty nice. But the fine woven material is apparently not good to a lot of people. So. Apple clear cases are not supposed to turn yellow. They're not made, they're made of a different material. So hopefully that's true. And then the other thing, I picked up an extra USB-C cable because that's something else I'm gonna have to get used to is USB-C on an iPhone, which is unheard of, right? The <laughs> first time ever. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing up. So it comes in the box. There's no plastic uh, wrapping on these boxes anymore. There's just a couple of pull tabs. There's one up here at the top and there's one down there at the bottom and then it should just lift right off. And there you go. There it is, that natural titanium finish. Looks very nice. I'm, I'm definitely glad I went with this. Uh, very cool look. It's kind of like a brownish kind of, I would say kind of sandy maybe look. It's not necessarily an off white, but uh, it is a really nice looking phone. And oh wow, the, yeah, the lightness is very noticeable. Uh, even here on this Pro Max, let me pick up my, oh yeah, my 13 Pro. Yeah, 13 Pro feels heavier than this phone, which is pretty crazy to think about. Stainless steel was definitely heavier, huh? Uh, but yeah, you can see there's that natural titanium finish. It's already showing fingerprints, uh, which is a little annoying. There were some people that were complaining about the build quality of their phone, but upon first impressions, I really don't see anything out of the ordinary with this phone. Camera lens, Looks like there might be a little something on there, but that might just wipe off. I'm not sure, but yeah, the weight of this phone is definitely noticeable. That's pretty uh, cool. And here is uh, that USB-C cable. First time ever in an iPhone box. It is a braided cable, so that's pretty nice. We'll have to see uh, how that holds up over time though. But there's your USB-C cable, and then right here, uh, you have just a few things, how to set up your eSIM, some regulatory stuff, and an Apple sticker that is not color matched. But other than that, we all know that that's about it for an iPhone box nowadays. Uh, there's not a lot uh, to really talk about there. So we'll go ahead and peel this off. And there's the cleanest this phone will ever be. Uh, upon first impressions holding it in my hand, this phone is really light and it's definitely a better feel in the hand. I mean, I could actually confidently probably use a case or use this without a case. The only thing I'd be concerned about 
is that fingerprint residue being left on there over time. Uh, you can also see that the edges of the display are definitely more thin. Uh, you put this down with your 13 Pro, you notice uh, I can definitely see the edges a lot more on that screen. So that is uh, very cool. You can see that we already got that. Let's just select our language. United States. Appearance, we'll leave it at default for now. And we'll go ahead, you can see it says quick start. And we can go ahead and set up our new iPhone. So we can hit continue on my old phone. And we should have a little thing, yeah. So we just take this, we hold it over the thing. There you go. Hopefully everything works like it's supposed to with this. So it says set up new iPhone, use your Apple ID enter the passcode of your old iPhone. You guys are probably not seeing much of this, so I'm having to blur a lot of it out, but it's just part of it. And now we're activating our new iPhone. Of course, this is uh, eSIM nowadays. Okay, looks like we uh, got it. So, cellular worked. So now it's saying, enjoy your new iPhone over here on this old one. So we'll hit done. We no longer have service on the old phone. Now it looks like we have a software update, which I imagine will be, I believe that'll be 17.0.2, if I'm remembering that correctly. So looks like we gotta download a software update, of course, before we can uh, do anything else. And it's important to download the software update because if you don't, your stuff could not transfer properly. While that's updating, I just want to hold this phone again in my hand. It's really, oh, it's really nice to hold this phone, guys. This is the first time that I felt, that I feel confident holding a caseless iPhone because, you know, they're usually pretty hard to hold in your hand. They're kind of slippery. You're afraid you're going to drop your, you know, now $1,200 iPhone. And this thing is really, really nice. I mean, it almost makes me not want to use this case. Oh, it's a tough decision, but I think I am gonna still use the case. I'm just, you know, gonna be precautious with it, or cautious, I don't say precautious, I don't know why I said that, but uh, yeah, if you're gonna, if you're considering caseless on this phone, uh, I would recommend definitely getting the natural titanium like this, or maybe the white one. I've seen where, you know, darker colors on Apple products, they collect a lot of fingerprints and they show up. I mean, this one's gonna collect fingerprints, but they're not gonna show up as easy as they would on a darker colored phone. So uh, if you're considering going caseless with this, you know, you might, you might wanna do it. I mean, this is a really nice hold, phone to hold in your hand. Of course, um, we've seen where this phone seems more fragile now. You would think that'd be the other way around uh, with the titanium frame. I mean, of course, this is the same stuff they send into space, right? <laughs> but, you know, uh, if you have Apple Care Plus, I guess there's really nothing to worry about. Um, but, you know, if you're not like a clumsy person, like you never drop your phone, then you might want to, you know, consider going caseless. But for me personally, we're going to use. The Apple clear case but long story short this is a nice phone to hold in your hand I go to the Apple store Best Buy whatever and pick up one of these phones and try it out another thing I'm noticing is I was kind of concerned obviously going to the max size iPhone and really I mean it's not that much different um, I mean, it's obviously different. The screen's bigger. There's no doubt about that. The, the footprint of the phone itself is bigger. But I guess it's the weight, the change in the weight on this phone that's kind of tripping me up. But it really doesn't feel like a bigger phone to me. That might change as I start using this for this week. But I guess we'll find out. I'm going to set up Face ID. So we'll hit continue. And I'm going to do this off camera so you guys can not watch this. You might can watch it a little bit, but just move your head all around. 
if you've never set up Face ID before. It's asking me about Face ID with a mask. We're not going to do that. And wow, okay. So it only took one scan this time. Usually it uh, takes multiple scans. So that's uh, interesting. Um, so now we can transfer our data. So it says transfer your data. You can download it from iCloud or you can transfer from another iPhone. Okay, so it asks a few more questions about setting different things up, blah, blah, blah. Now we are uh, transferring our data from my old iPhone to my new one. So I imagine this will take a little bit of time here. So we'll come back whenever this gets done. Okay, so after like probably about 20-ish minutes, we now have everything transferred. So we need to continue. It says uh, erase this iPhone. I think I'm gonna wait on that. But yeah, let's see what this thing has for us. So it's telling us about silent mode. So you can toggle silent mode on and off or check its status in the control center. So you can see, you can see it up there now, or you can pull it down up top. So we can hit continue on that. Now it's telling us about our action button. So now it's telling us about our action button right here. So of course, uh, that's a new thing. We no longer have that uh, mute switch. We instead have the action button so we can uh, customize that. We get a really cool new animation. Uh, and I'm getting a notification on my watch to pair my watch. It's vibrate my wrist off. But anyways, uh, so you can see we have silent mode, focus mode that you can configure, camera, uh, you can configure that, flashlight, magnifier, and then we have shortcuts, accessibility. Um, for now, I think I'm just going to do the camera. Uh, that seems, that makes the most sense for me. Um, so, we now have our iPhone, uh, and here it is. So, yeah, uh, everything seems to be, well, everything's obviously still loading in. I'm sure we have use this iPhone when sharing your location. Yes. Well, obviously, we're going to have to go through a lot of our settings and make sure that everything is in order, but upon first impression here, it seems like that everything is loading in still, and I'm sure everything will be fine uh, once it's all said and done, of course. So, just a couple of things we can try out here. So I guess we can try out a couple of iPhone 15 Pro unique things. So let's try the camera. Uh, so obviously with the camera now, we have the ability to do uh, the portrait modes after the fact that you take the picture. So now if you take a picture uh, with a subject, uh, and then if you decide later that you want portrait mode, you can go in and you can actually uh, change the photo. So that's pretty cool. We also have the five times uh, optical zoom feature. And yeah, that looks uh, much improved. Obviously, that'll look better uh, when we're out in the open. But just zooming in, yeah, that looks much improved over the 13 uh, Pro. So that's uh, pretty nice to see. Happy to see that one for us. And then, of course, I mean, Oh, yeah, we can pair our Apple Watch. Um, we can check this out. So we can double tap our action button. I think we have to, oh, we hold it to open. Okay. So it opens the camera for us. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for at this time. Oh, yeah, always on display. I'm not used to having that. So that'll be a cool change. I'm going to have so many videos with this phone, but first, um, I guess we'll check out the Apple clear case and then we'll wrap up this video. So there's really nothing in there. Here's our clear case. Let's see. Let's just pull it out and see. Clear case designed by Apple in California. Of course, it's assembled in China. So Apple clear case with a MagSafe ring. Looks pretty nice. Um, let's look at the phone. 
So upon just kind of using it a little bit here and there, there are a little bit of fingerprint residues that I can see, but it's not anything that's like the end of the world. So I'm not gonna worry about I mean, I guess we can try to wipe it off a little bit, but um, just, it's hard to wipe off a phone and then have to handle it to put it in the case. Um, so um, I'm not sure if there's a tactic to this. Okay, it says slide it in like this. Let's see if we can do that then. So just put it in. There you go. There we go, Apple Clear case. It was that simple. Looks like it's in there properly. Let's, let's say that it's in there. Um, so yeah, oh wow, this, this clear case feels nice. Um, you know, I don't know what other quality products would be, but that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Uh, the bottom is completely opened. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, last time I had that was on my iPhone 10 uh, with the leather case. So the bottom of the clear case is completely opened. The buttons feel okay. Uh, that seems a little harder to press. Um, yeah, those seem kind of difficult to press, but I'm sure it'll just take some getting used to. But yeah, guys, uh, for now, that's everything I have here for this phone. I mean, we're going to be messing around with it a lot over the next week or so. I'm going to have a bunch of different videos I'm going to make about it. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel so you can uh, never miss a important upload uh, to do with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything specific that you guys want to see with this phone i'll be happy to make a video about it but anyways guys that's all i got for you today thanks for watching the channel as always and i'll catch you on the next one